All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started. Here is my beautiful tier list from last time. And just checking a couple things. Checking a couple things. That's my audio. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so back when, way a long time ago, when we were streaming uh, part two of this, um, the last album that we ranked was uh, Good Charlotte by Good Charlotte. So the next one after that on this beautiful tier list will be um, Young and Hopeless, The Young and the Hopeless by Good Charlotte. Now, as you can see here, I've amassed a huge list. I tried to come prepared this time. And it's still mind boggling huge mind bogglingly huge. So I just need to find the album somehow. Let's go back up. Alright. Let's see here. I think I just saw it with my mind's eye. Hmm. Did I not download it? Oh, there it is. Doi. Okay. The Young and the Hopeless. So just to get this started. Um, whoops, that's another cat. Oh, where'd it go? Oh dang. This is going as wrong as I thought it would go. Hmm. Okay. Change of plans because my eyes hurt. All right. Instead of going in album order of when I downloaded them, we are just going to go and rank the rest of my library. I think that's a good call. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry, doing things on the fly here. All right. Um, so this tier list was originally a Taylor Swift tier list. Um, you can see the albums on the top there. Um, I need to listen to more Taylor Swift. Uh, I'm not a Swifty. I'm probably an aspiring Swifty. So the only um, song that I own from Taylor Swift is Style from 1989. That is all. Not even Blank Space. I know it's tragic. Um, oops. So to continue this tier list, we're just gonna jump right in with Foo Fighters. With this album. I can't even remember the album name. Isn't that isn't that cool? Alright, so it's not going on the tier list. Uh, the C uh, tier is going on the freaking triple S tier. That is the best tier with Michael Scott. That's how I feel about it. Next is Stretch Armstrong. Um, this is a South Carolina hardcore band. And I am going to put it on, I will explain it in a second, but I'll put it on the C tier over here with uh, Christian Bale. Uh, check them out, they're really good. They're called Stretch Armstrong. They're from Columbia, South Carolina. And they are like rhythmic pop punk hardcore, kind of. And I, and I think some people say they invented it, the melodic hardcore. Um, I'm not sure about that, but it is very good. Check it out. Oh yeah, and just a refresher on this tier list. So. Anything that ends up on this tier list is downloaded on my phone, so technically uh, it is good. I do like it. Um, yeah, so uh, if it even if it ends up on this last tier of why did I download this al th why did I download this album? I downloaded it because I did initially like it. So if it ends up on the lower part of this list, 
it just means oh, I need to move good Charlotte by the way but if it ends up on the lower part of this list it doesn't mean I don't like it it means that I need to take another listen at it um, so yeah but I will have to say if it ends up on the tier with Joey here uh, it, it, it means that I should really consider if this album needs to take space on my phone so yeah all right so young and hopeless by good charlotte is going on the s tier and uh just to explain the s tier that's chandler holding a um one of my favorite albums um so that explains s tier sss tier is michael scott uh screaming and dancing so that means it must be like extra good a tier is the kid blasting the volume as loud as he can and C tier is Christian Bale uh, walking pumped to his music um, so the reason why I put an image for C tier is because one of the people I watch uh, called Finn McKenty he does uh, occasionally does some tier lists and for him the C tier is where the action is at that's how it ends up after the tier list is done so we'll see if that happens for C tier for uh, this rendition of my tier list. I'm going to try to be fair and not put all of these albums on the S tier or the triple S S tier because that would not be fair. Um, and I don't want to go too soft. Okay, speaking of that, Mencholi Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness, I'm going to put it on the B tier. There's a couple slow songs that I still need to listen to on that album. I haven't given it the chance, so that's where I is going lower. But of course, the the really good songs like 1979 and Zero would make me bump it higher. But I need to like more songs on the album for it to be higher. After that is Duran Duran Duran, uh, Future Past. Um, I'm gonna put this one on the D tier. It's very well produced. Um, it's a fairly new album from them. But I will say sometimes it doesn't grab me and I skip it on one of my playlists, whether I'm in the car or listening to music at work or something like that. Sorry, that's where it goes. All right. Next is Thundercat, Drunk. Thundercat, Drunk. I mm, There's another one coming up that's very good so I'm gonna put it on the B tier because I have another Thundercat album that I would put higher okay next is Blink-182 Cheshire Cat whoa let's put an extra album there alright whoops there it goes again alright so Cheshire Cat is gonna go on Hmm. It's going to go on the B tier. That'll probably be my lowest rank for a Blink album is B tier because, I mean, it is my favorite band, so that makes sense. Okay, next is The Hell. Um, the Hell by uh, Matt Skiba and Adam Willard. And I already like the place where it's at, C tier. I need to listen to it more. Okay, Beastie Boys, Check Your Head. This is probably my favorite Beastie Boys album. It's going on the triple S tier. Simple as that. Okay, the next one is uh, the newest Red Hot Chili Peppers album, uh, Return to the Dream Canteen. And I'm going to put it... I'm going to be a little bit harsh. I'm going to put it on the E tier. Only reason why I do that is because some of the songs are just so freaking slow that it, it's difficult for me to get through the album. But um, the songs that are good are in there. That They have a, a very decent amount of good songs. I just need to give it a chance because sometimes the songs start really slow and then they pick up later. So that I still need time to warm up to that album. So therefore, E-tier. Okay, sticks, gold. 
I'm going to be fair, since this is a compilation album, and just put it on the C tier. That's what I did with my last couple uh, videos. So, if it's a um, compilation, it's going on the C tier. Alright, next is Pearl Jam. Their first album, 10. It's pretty darn good. It's going on the A tier. Don't really have much to say about it other than it's it's really good. The guitarist, so good in that band. All right, next is Dirty Honey's uh, debut album. So in the last playlist, or sorry, last tier list, we had the EP, and I think the EP is better than this. I can't remember where I put the EP, but I am going to put this on. The D tier because there are some really good songs on there but I need to warm up to the album and give it another chance okay uh, we already did melancholy um, third eye blind their debut album I've been listening to this a lot there's a, been a lot of songs on here that have um, been reoccurring on uh, my playlist is going on the A tier with Pearl Jam. Uh, next is Cheap Tricks' first album. I do need to listen to this more. The reason why I skip it a lot is the master for it is just really low through my speakers. Um, that's probably why I skip it all the time. But to be fair to it, I'm going to put it on the D tier. I have listened to all these albums in their entirety, but to the extent that I listen to them more, the higher they go. So, next is Mr. Mister. Okay, so I have a little story about this one. So, I worked at a pool um, in my neighborhood as a lifeguard, and I was able to choose the playlist. So, a lot of these albums were on the playlist. Now, people, uh, I don't know if people hated me for that or if they loved it. I think uh, towards the end we heard a lot of people did like our playlist, so but that's that was nice to hear. That's very nice of people to say that. So for some reason, my playlist would always choose Mr. Mister and this entire album because uh, I had this entire album shuffled on the on the playlist, and it was like a like a crazy twelve hour playlist. I ended up having it's crazy. I ended up having like 12 hmm, maybe not that much maybe like seven eight hour playlists or something like that of all different albums and mr mister just kept on coming up and i enjoy it it's like pure 80s bliss it sounds like you're stuck in a stranger a stranger things um set which is a good thing. It's going on the triple S tier. I'm in a good mood when I hear any of those songs on the album. It's, it's good. Completely 80s sounding album. But anyway. Okay, this one's kind of a stinker. Wild Cherry. I tried to give the album a chance. Because I really like Play That Funky Music White Boy. And... The, I mean, it's decent music, good instrumentals, but <clears throat> I would say the vocals were only good on the main hit single. So that's going on the why did I download the album tier list. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wild Cherry fans, whoever you are out there. Um, okay, my computer's lagging. Um, Next is Fall Out Boy's newest album, uh, So Much for Stardust. I might do a review for this for my YouTube channel at, at some point since it came out pretty recently. Um, overall, I liked it. I think there are some songs that re don't really grab me, and but there's some songs that really do. So I'm going to put it on the A tier. A tier is looking pretty good right now. Um, Okay, next is Less Than Jake, Hello to Rockview. 
or hello rock view and I'm in a good mood when I hear those songs on, on this album so and it's really mixed well I don't know why I say that I guess it's because the the earlier one may not have been mixed that well before they got to a, a big studio label but um yeah I feel good when I hear this one so if it'll let me move it I'm gonna move it to the S tier good stuff alright next is bullet for my valentine uh, I, I can't read it from here it says poison uh, I think it says poison but this is gonna be our first F tier my brother will probably kill me for that but I just haven't given it a chance other than your tears don't fall they crash them around me um, Wow, I just said the whole lyric. But anyway, um, that's going on the F tier. Again, it doesn't mean I don't like it. It just means that I haven't really listened to it a lot when I had the chance. Okay, next is White Reaper. They are a new-ish band. I guess they're not really new, but I forgot which state they're from. But um, they're from the States. And this album is called You Deserve Love. This is another album that played a lot when I was working at as a lifeguard. It's a good feel good feeling album album. It is going on, because I can't put everything as high. I need to be fair. It's going on the B tier. Very good though. Highly recommend. Go check go check them out. White Reaper. Um, next is Angels and Airwaves. Uh, we don't need to whisper, I think. And this is just a great album. Um, I really hate the implications behind it, you know, because uh, Tom could have been with uh, Mark and Travis to make the music, whatever music. Like, people theorize, like, what would have the album after um, Untitled or Self Titled sound like? It, and people, some people say it would have sounded something like in between We Don't Need to Whisper and Plus 44. If that was the case, that would have been a, a really interesting album. But we got Angels and Airwaves doing it. It's pretty good. Um, I am going to put it on the C tier. Uh, straight up bangers. I mean, really good songs. I think uh, one of the songs on there is called The War. That's a really good song. It easily could have been a blank song. Okay, next is It Is What It Is. And this was the Thundercat album I was talking about earlier. That's, uh, in my opinion, better than Drunk. It is going on the A tier. Pretty good stuff. Next is The Used. I can't read the title from here. But I do like this album. It is going on. Ooh, man, it's good. It's going on the S tier. It's that good. Uh, next is Monuments to an Elegy, Elegy by Smashing Pumpkins. There are some pretty good songs on here. It's going on the D tier. I do need to listen to it more, so it can't go that high because I haven't listened to it as much. As other stuff. Next is The Killers, Day and Age. This is going to go on the F tier because when I downloaded this album, I was expecting more stuff like Hot Fuss. And I did not get that. It is a good album though. I do need to listen to it more. But Hot Fuss to me, that's where it's at for The Killers. Okay, next is Stone Temple Pilots, number four. What's going on the beach here? It's solid. Uh, next is Rod Stewart. Okay. So I do like a couple songs on this album, but there was just one time I was listening to it, and I was like, "What? I don't know which song it was. I was like, man, that sounds so bad. So... I think I need to get an, give another look at this album and decide if it needs to be on my phone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rod Stewart. I would definitely keep the, the singles on that album, though. They're good. 
All right. Next is, I think this is ill communication. I can't read it from here, but um, BC Boys. Their album that has Sabotage on it, which is probably my favorite song from them. Probably most people's favorite song, honestly. Um, so that is gonna go on. Hmm. I do like Check Your Head better. So I need to keep that in mind. I'm gonna put it on the A tier. And then their classic debut album, S tier, easy peasy. Didn't even have to think about that twice. Okay, Nickelback, Silver Side Up. Okay. Yes, I am a Nickelback fan. I do like them. Um, it is going uh, I think I have another nickel back on, but I like this one the best. It's going on the S tier. How You Remind Me is on here. It's, it's, it's so good. Um, and all the other songs are just as good. That's why I'm putting it that high. Um, all the other songs are just as good as How You Remind Me on Silver Side Up. Um, next is In Color by Cheap Trick. So I'm going to put that on the E tier. I need to listen to it more. I do like it though. That's why it's on this list. Next is slightly stupid. That's going on. There it is. It's going on the why did I download this album? So a little bit about slightly stupid. I was kind of looking for a, a band that's like Sublime, and they're kind of like Sublime, but they're more on the reggae side. I wasn't expecting that. There's some good songs though. They're very chill. I could probably fall asleep listening to them, but that's not usually what I listen to songs for to fall asleep. So, yeah, I need to give another look at that one. All right, next is. Hold on, it's focusing. It's focusing. Okay, there it goes. Mustard plug. Um, some pretty good ska punk songs. It's going on. Whoop. Yeah, I'm okay with that. It's going on the D tier. Could be better. Okay, Pepper, Kona Town. There might be some of these that I already rated, but we're just going to go down the list here that I got since we got a ton. Keep rolling. Pepper Kona is going on. It's going on the E tier. Because that is closer to what I would think of as a sublime. So, but I do need to listen to it more. That's why it's on the lower side of things. Not everything can be way up there in the prestigious triple S tier with Michael Scott. Um, okay. Maroon 5, it won't be soon before it's too long. Is my favorite album from them. Easily. It's that good. Okay, next is Izzy Stradlin, Wave of Heat. So, I'm a huge fan of Guns N' Roses, right? And I wanted to look at Izzy's stuff. Izzy's stuff is good. So I'm not going to delete this album. But, sometimes it's a little slow for me. It doesn't really retain my attention. So it's going on the F tier. Still good, though. Okay, next is Lefty at the Washout. That is a band from South Carolina. And they're kind of more like a reggae band. So I'm going to put them on the same tier as... Come on. Slightly Stupid. Because I just I need to be in a mood to listen to them. So that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, cheap Trick in Another World is their most recent album. It's kind of a little bit um, kind of referencing the pandemic that happened. So, but the songs are really good on there. Other than being time stamped like that a little bit, the songs are still extremely good. It is going, hmm. 
I'm going to put it on the B tier. All right, next is Offspring. Okay, so this is a little pet peeve for me. The Offspring, this album, is a great album, but there are, I think, two interludes. Like, one instrumental, another interlude, and then a redone song in piano form. It's going in the why did I download this album. There are eight good songs on there, but I think I think it's either 12 or 10 songs. I think it's 12 songs, possibly. So eight good songs. Oh, and a song that they released in 2016, but they put it on this album. So, sorry. I would have rather bought eight songs than bought the album and have four songs that I never listened to. So that's a little pet peeve for me for that particular album. But I do like the eight songs, the eight new songs that they did. It's great. Um, next is Expendables, Getting Filthy. Um, I have both of the Expendables albums right beside each other, so this is good. I can kind of rank them. I feel like I like this one better than this one. So Getting Filthy's F tier, self-titled E tier. They're like ska punk meets reggae, uh, kind of more on the reggae side. They're good. I recommend them. Um, next is Kill Lincoln. They are a ska punk band. They are probably 10 years old. Um, so, I mean, relatively young band. Um, this is a great album. It is really good. Um... It is going on the A tier. I do need to be careful because A tier is getting pretty large and in charge. So I need to watch out for that. Okay, next is Real Big Fish. Um, Why Do They Rock So Hard, which is a hilarious album title. Um, <laughs> and a hilarious artwork. I do like the logo right here. But the artwork is absolutely uh, hilarious looking. So I'm going to put it on the F tier because I do just, I don't listen to it enough for it to be higher than that. Um, next is 311 Stereolithic. It's going on the D tier. If it'll load, there it goes. Um, good album, extremely highly produced if you like that stuff check it out it's ex it's exquisitely produced squeaky clean um yeah check it out um next is evolver by 311 that's gonna go on the c tier uh this is a early 2000s album from them it's good i like it they kind of went a little experimental with it it's good all right next is insomniac by green day That'll be our next S tier. Great album. Brought us Brains too, And all the other good songs on it. Okay. So this is a little band called Bracket. They sound a lot like Green Day. That's why I uh, downloaded them. And I do not regret it. They are good. It's going on the C tier. Um, next is 311 Mosaic. That's going to go on the F tier. I need to listen to it more. Um, there's a one song on there that I don't like that I skip all the time, but I know there's some good songs on there, so I need to take another look at it. Okay, Buck Cherry Confessions. There's some good songs on here. Pretty fast paced, uh, pretty nice sounding. So the reason why I started listening to Buck, Buck Cherry is I needed a Guns N' Roses alternative because Guns N' Roses famously has not produced or put out. They have produced a lot, actually, behind the scenes. Like, probably hundreds of songs, which is crazy. But they haven't released a ton of albums. Buck Cherry has. And I, I mean, I get why some people don't like, uh, or like a ton of people don't like Buck Cherry. 
I mean, I sort of get it, but I like Buck Cherry. I think they're awesome. So, what's going on in the B tier? Um, B for Buck Cherry. Next is Cheap Trick Authorized Greatest Hits. It's going on the C tier because it is a Greatest Hits. All right, Van Weezer. Van Weezer holds a special place in my heart because uh, both me and my brother really like the album, um, so we had that connection to it. But beyond that, it's it's really great. Um, it's kind of a metal tinged Weezer, where they're more likely a grunge tinged. But this is they they just go full metal. Well, you know. Not crazy metal, but you know, like hair metal kind of, um, which I like. Um, so it's going on the triple S tier. Next is Journey. Okay, S tier is getting stacked because Escape from Journey is their best album, straight up. Next is Buck Cherry, number 15, I think. It's just called 15. I do need to listen to this album more. I think if I listen to it more and uh, listen to the singles more, um, that it might go above Confessions, but I haven't listened to it enough to warrant that. So it's going on the E tier. Um, okay. Speaking of, F is a EP by Buck Cherry. It's freaking amazing. Go listen to it. It's just riddled with f bombs, which I, 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 you might need to wear headphones for. But I don't really listen to it for the f bombs. It's just actually really just gritty um, hard rock slash butt rock. Um, it's great. I think it's five songs. One is a cover, a hilarious cover. But I'll let you uh, discover that if you want. Um, next is Ario Speedwagon, High Infidelity. And if it'll let me move it, it's, yep, there it goes, boom. S tier, easily. Uh, they have some great love songs on there, great 80s vibes. And they weren't even trying to be 80s vibes, it just so happens that it sounds like an 80s album. Um, next is Bon Jovi, the self-titled Bon Jovi. It's probably my favorite Bon Jovi album. It's going on B tier. B for Bon. Um, next is Spin Doctors. This is a, a feel-good album. I do need to listen to it more. Therefore, 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 it's going on the D tier. Okay. After that is Clutch. Clutch is gonna go on. The F tier. I need to listen to it more. And I do like a couple of the songs, but some of the other songs don't grab my attention as much. So the F4, FTR. Next is Poison, a hair metal album from the 80s. It's going on the E tier. Van Halen, easy S tier. Easy peasy. Buck Cherry, Hellbound. It's going on the C tier. It's very decent. I couldn't put it any lower than that. It's good. Um, Aerosmith, get a grip. Hmm. I'm going to put that one on the B tier. I really like the production and kind of how it's a heavier. Aerosmith, if that's if that's anything, um, if they can be heavy, it's kind of I don't know. I just like the sound of it. Um, Real Sickies is a Canadian band. Go check them out. They're a smaller band. I tried to put some smaller bands on here uh, since they're on my uh, library. Uh, it's good to shout them out. But anyway, they shouldn't be small. Real Sickies is great. Um, they're like a, a modern Ramones. 
So therefore, it's going on the DTA. I do need to listen to it more. Next is Red Hot Chili Peppers, I'm with you. I'm gonna put Red Hot Chili Peppers. I'm wearing a Red Hot Chili Peppers shirt right now. So this is kind of betrayal. I'm gonna put it on the E tier. I need to listen to that specific album more. Speaking of Red Hot Chili Peppers, Stadium freaking Arcadium, S tier. All right, so this album by Red Hot Chili Peppers, if you guys can see it, I'll try to, hold on. Da, 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 da. Bah. Okay. This album right here is when I guess everybody was releasing albums by chopping it up two to three songs and putting it on iTunes. And this is, I think, the first album with uh, Josh instead of John. It's pretty decent. I like it. Do I like it more than I'm with you, though? I think I do. It's good. Um, okay, is this it by The Strokes? S tier. Feel good album of this freaking century. So good. Um, next is A Fever You Can't Sweat Out. I'm going to put this one, surprisingly, a little lower. Because I tried to listen to uh, a couple of the songs, and it didn't grab me as much as a, a couple of the songs that I like on there. The couple of songs I like on there could easily bump it to S tier. But there's a bunch of songs that I'm kind of mixed about. So, surprisingly, it's going on the F tier. I'm not going to lie, I didn't expect that from my brain. Okay, next is Use Your Illusion number two. I forgot if we put Use Your Illusion one on here high, but I really like Use Your Illusion two. It's solid. Great fast paced songs, great slow paced songs. I think one song with Duff singing on it. It's old. Okay, Crownlands. Crownlands is a good band, so. Um, I don't knock them for being on this tier, but I just haven't given them enough listens to warrant why it should be on my phone. Um, if I looked up the statistics now, I probably barely even, uh, played the songs on this album. So, um, that kind of speaks for itself. Next is Kiss, <clears throat> Dressed to Kill, I think. This is probably my favorite Kiss album that I've listened to. I haven't listened to all of them, granted, but this is the best one I've listened to. B tier. Um, next is Led Zeppelin. Um, Houses of the Ho Houses of the Holy, I think. Tried to get a different album cover that's not as weird as the original one. Um. I'm going to put it on the D tier. I do love Led Zeppelin. Um, next is Dinosaur Pile. Uh, I think it's Pile Up. Hold on. I kick myself that I always get this wrong. Ooh, dinosaur Pile Up. Pile Up. Oh, did I say Pile On? I think I said pile up. Okay. Dinosaur pile up. I'm so bad about that. Um, this is a great album. I hope they continue with this sound. This is more of a pop punk sound. I, I have a huge itch for pop punk sound. S tier. Easily. Great album. I need to listen to the rest of theirs. I haven't yet. Um, so you won't be seeing the rest of theirs on this list. I need to download them though. Go check them out. Dinosaur pile up. I'm just going to confirm that's their name. It is. There they are. Check them out. I need to watch that video. All right.
Boom. Okay, we're back. I thought I deleted it for a second. I was about to gasp. All right. This is an album by Greta Van Fleet. And this might ruffle some feathers, but I really have no idea why I downloaded this album. It's too slow for me. It just not gained my attention in time for when it picks up. I think we already did Matt Skiba Secrets, so we'll move that over. I think we already did um, uh, this Kiss album, too. Okay. Shiny and Oh So Bright, Volume 1, I think. This is what I wish Red Hot Chili Peppers was doing right now. This is almost like a sequel to uh, Machina. Triple S tier. Please go back to the sound. They, they can do what they want, of course, but... Hey, at least I have this album. That's great. It's the first time I think they reunited and uh, got with um, the Red Hot Chili Peppers um, producer, which I forget his name at the time, but great producer. So, and then he had them make this. Return to form. It was great. Uh, next is... Well, did I just grab something? I sure did. Where did we put Stereolithic? Hmm. I think we put it on the E tier, maybe. Okay, next is Dead Leopard Hysteria. Okay. I'm going to put it on the A tier. It's really good. Okay, next is a little band called Rad Key. Go check them out. They're good. Uh, I think um, Dave Grohl um, has shouted them out. They went on a tour with Offspring. Rad Key is solid. And Delicious Rock Noise, I believe, is also solid. Um, it is going on the C tier because I have an album I like better than that from them okay next is Avenge Sevenfold City of Evil it is a freaking masterpiece it's gone on the triple S tier no arguments there from my mind um, and then next is Simple Minds I think I downloaded this full album I'm pretty sure I did so that should kind of tell you where it lands, because I don't even know if I downloaded a full album. F tier. It's good songs, though. I need to give it another listen. Great 80s sounding album, too. Okay, One Hot Minute is going on the D tier. There's some really good songs on there. There's some really okay songs on there. So, D tier. Uh, I think we did Hands All Over already. Hold on. It's loading. All right, Ramones, Road to Ruin, A tier. Um, face to Face, Big Choice. I love this album. It's going on the S tier. Um, I think we did Eurobeat. I think we did Conspiracy of One, Believer. Okay, hold on a second. Just gotta load. We loading. Okay, all right. This is probably my favorite Imagine Dragons album. I saw them on tour. They were the first concert I have ever been to. Just like a concert, concert was Imagine Dragons. Um, I was not disappointed to say the least. It was a great experience. If you like any of their singles, um, go see them on tour. You'll enjoy it. They're great musicians. Um, I think we did the 1975, but just in case, I think I did this the last time. Triple S tier. Uh, Imagine Dragons Origins. I need to give this another listen, honestly. D tier. Um, LA Guns. If it'll let me bring it over. Oh, there it goes. Okay. E tier. 
That's kind of where I wanted it to land. Okay, Joystick. Joystick is a ska punk band. Go check them out. There's a couple songs I have listened to a lot. There's a ton of songs I haven't listened to a lot. F tier. It's not a diss on them, though. They're a great band. Go check them out. Um, okay. Let's see. While we're here, let's grab this album that we left behind, uh, The Hell, and put it on the same tier as the other The Hell. Because they are the same project. Just released at slightly different times. Okay, Drain. Drain is a hardcore band. It's kind of like my first hardcore band I, I'm actually into. Um, more on the metal side, I hear. And they are darn good. Um, okay. The website is struggling because of all these uh, JPEGs. All right. Drain, this particular album of Drain, is going on the A tier. All right. Next is a little band called Scooped Up. I do know where these guys are. I think they're from Connecticut, I believe. And uh, I think this album's name is Dumbass. <laughs> um, Scooped Up is awesome. And their most recent album is great. I haven't downloaded it yet, so it won't be on this tier list. But I have downloaded this album, Dumbass. Certified Triple S Michael Scott tier. That's good. All right. Whoa. I think I just displaced a Led Zeppelin album. D tier, I believe. All right. Thrice. It's a pretty decent album. I'm gonna put it on the B tier. Um, I do need to listen to more Thrice because I, I was impressed with some of the songs I kind of sampled. So, more to come from Thrice, um, but not on this tier list. All right. Nine Inch Nails, their first album. If it'll load, I'm putting it on the triple S tier. So good. A master class. Uh, okay, so this is a band called Mighty Tortuga. They're a smaller band, but I like them as well. Um, they're kind of like a mix between Weezer and, let's see, kind of a mix between Weezer and Killers kind of vibes. They're good. They're very decent. Um, I'm going to put them on the... And this is their my first purchase of theirs. Plague Inside Your Head. It's uh, their most recent release. Mighty Tortuga. Cool name. All right, B tier for those guys. Uh, Tunnel Vision is a ska punk band. Um... It's not going on the B tier. Um, it's having trouble loading. Um, it is going on the C tier. There it goes. All right. Next is Yard Act. And this is no offense to them, but it's going on the Why Did I Download This Album tier. I need to give more listens to it, honestly. I haven't given it enough listens. Therefore, it is lower on the tier list. All right, next is Stretch Armstrong, Revolution Transmission. Um, let's see, where did the other... Okay, yeah, we put that one on the C tier. This one is going on the B tier, because I do like it slightly better than this Stretch Armstrong album. Um, next is California by Blink-182, um, including the deluxe side. Um, but even without the deluxe side, I would still put it on the triple S tier. I love it. Please come back, Matt. You don't have to, but it'd be cool if you came back. Um, <clears throat> all right. Next is tickets to my downfall, Machine Gun Kelly. Oh, man, I 
think I like this one better than the newest one. I do like the newest one a lot, but I think I like this one better. So it's going on the S tier if I can move it. There it goes. S tier. Alkaline Trio, I might have done this album, but just in case I haven't, triple S tier. All right, next is Weezer. Okay, I, th I have a feeling we've done that one. We've done that one. Blue Oyster Cult, C tier. Whoops. Tay Tay is trying to get on there. Go back down. Okay. Blue Oyster Cult. That is a compilation album. I love the artwork, by the way. C tier. Compilations go on the C tier. All right. Next is Def Leppard. Let's see where we we put Hysteria A tier. So Pyromania. After it loads, hold on. We're loading a lot of assets here. Is going on. Oh, the Triple S tier. I love Pyromania. All right, next is uh, a newer album that I downloaded from Sleeping With Sirens. And even though it's newer, it's going to be heavy in my rotation, I can already tell you. Triple S tier. All right, next is Guilty Gear, um, Strive. Really awesome songs on this one. It's a video game soundtrack. Go check it out. Um, I feel good about that actually. B tier. I would say B tier. Let me get a sip of my coffee. Alright. Yeah, we're wheeling this down pretty good. Dang. Alright, Prince, 1999. Okay. It disappeared on me for a second. Okay. I think this is my favorite Prince release think we might move it if not but it's really good i think most people know that um keys be nights by streetlight manifesto f tier i haven't listened to it enough and the vocals kind of catch me off guard sometimes so i'll give it another listen though um pennywise uh never gonna die it's really good it's going to go on the A tier. Uh, great production, too, for a punk album. Very, very good production. Um, <clears throat> ACDC Back in Black. It's going to go also on the A tier. I think possibly my favorite um, ACDC album. Okay, Aerosmith, self-titled, C tier. Um, I do like it, but I don't like it as much as Get a Grip. <clears throat> okay, Nine Lives. Why did I download this album tier? There's a couple of songs I was not expecting on there that uh, did not sound that good. So, but I do like it, uh, a couple of the songs. And Music from Another Dimension, E tier. It's actually pretty decent for their last album. Possibly last album, right? From Aerosmith. All right, uh, next is, sorry, I got a random itch. Um, Aftermath by Rolling Stones. This is their first album. I tried to do a lot of research to find their first, first album. Because I wanted to start from beginning to end. I haven't got all the albums yet. That'd be a ton of albums. But I do like Aftermath. They had a strong start. I think I'm going to put it on the D tier. Again, if you're on this list, I like you. So, yeah. Um, okay, I think we already did Agony and Irony. But we haven't done Crimson. Crimson is really good. 
A tier. All right, I think we've done this addiction, but just in case we haven't, I would probably put it on the D tier. And I think we're running out of room, so I'm gonna just put it back. <laughs> um, okay. From here to the infirmary. A tier. Yeah. Uh, we have done um, the GD it ness. Um, next is Nickelback, All the Right Reasons. Let's get it up here. Okay, so we already put Silver Side up there. All the Right Reasons is going on the A tier. A for all the right reasons, people. Um, Rise Against is going on the C tier. I need to listen to it more. Very good, though. Boxcar Racer. D tier. Uh, Beartooth, The Surface. This is a newer album. And guess what? It freaking slaps. A tier. Um, newer album by Beartooth. Released very recently. I probably need to do a review on that too, to be honest, on my YouTube channel. Uh, TBD. Um, Paul's Boutique. Paul's Boutique, I've heard, is a master class in mixing and sampling. And I can see why. It is very good. Um, but do I like it more than the classic BC Boys album? I can't, for, I can't believe I forgot the name. And Ill Communication, which is also somewhere around here. There it is. Probably not. So it's going on the B tier. For boutique. Buck Cherry. Um, I can't see the title of this album, but it's the one with the butterfly on it. Mm -mm. D tier. D tier, I would say. Black Sabbath. Um, it's going on the F tier. Nothing personal, kid. Uh, next is. Uh, Jimmy Eat World. Um, I freaking adore this album. It's going on the triple S tier. Triple S tier. For good old Jimmy Eat World. I need to listen to their other albums, but I've just been so inundated in that one album, The Middle, that I haven't listened to their other ones. That's how good it is. Okay, Blink-182, their most recent album, One More Time. Triple S tier. Even though I'm a huge Matt fan, um, I really love what they did with Tom coming back. Um, my, my favorite Blink album is Nine, but One More Time is up there with Nine. It is so freaking good. Um, next is Brian Adams, and it is going to go on the E tier. I need to listen to it more. Great singles, though. That's why I got the album. Um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Can't Stop. I think that's the name of this. Oh, wow. There's the next day. I did not mean to put that up there. Okay, let's go ahead and rank the next day. Um, the next day is a newer um, David Bowie album from, I think, like 2012, 2014. Hmm. C tier is a good spot for it. I do like it a lot. Okay, Red Hot Chili Peppers. I am wearing a Red Hot Chili Peppers shirt, after all. It's a good thing we're almost done with this list. My my computer is struggling. Um, okay. S tier. Very good. See, look how stacked the triple S tier is. I need to I need to chill out. Um, okay. I like my music. What can I say? Okay, next is Cake Fashion Nugget. As I say that. I wonder why I downloaded this album. <laughs> um, I do like the single. Um, 
farther and further and faster and stronger. He's going the distance. Da -da -da. Um, see, I, I even said it wrong. I said the Captain Marvel byline for that. Farther and faster and faster and stronger. Da -da 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 -da. Um, he's going the distance. There it goes. He's going for speed. That's a great song, but the other songs did not match up to that song. Okay. Oh, this is our first Lil Wayne album we can rank. Okay. The Carter 3. I do like the Carter 3. B tier. Only putting it there because there's some other ones that I like slightly more. You know what? I changed my mind. A tier. It needs to go higher. I was like, hold on, this is a crime. It needs to go higher than that. A tier. Um, I think we did everything, uh, is all right, um, by a cheat trick, so, yeah. All right, Kiss. Um, Dress to Kill, I do like better, so it's going on the C tier. Look how freaking stacked the C tier is. C tier is looking... I don't know. It's looking like a uh, um, it is looking like a competition between C tier, A tier, and triple S tier. That's what it's looking like right now. Okay, Seer is going in. Why did I download this album tier? Um, there's a lot of electronic songs on there that kind of uh, drag for me a little bit. Um, but there's a reason why it's on my phone, so I do like it. And I'll say I, I do think that the the lady that um, does the background vocals for um, Smashing Pumpkins, uh, she is a great vocalist. But when I come to listen to a Smashing Pumpkins album, I rather just listen to um, Billy Corgan sing. That's not to knock her though. Um, she seems like a great person, and there's a ton of people buying their album. So what do I know? Um, but uh, I rather just listen to Billy sing. So if you add that and it's more of an experimental adore type album, it kind of goes on the why did I download this album tier? Nothing against it, but I mean everybody's got to have their favorite and least favorite. So. That's, that's how it goes sometimes. Um, okay. Bowie. Let's dance. Hmm. This might be my favorite Bowie release. S tier. I stand by that. Aladdin Sane. Oh my gosh. Okay. Aladdin Sane is really good. All right. Mm. I think I'm going to put it on the B tier. I haven't listened to it enough to warrant it being A tier, so I don't need to be um, dishonest. Um, I think I did that Weezer EP. Um, Devo. Devo's going on the E tier. I do need to listen to it more. This is the album with Whip It. Um, but all the songs on there are pretty good. You know what? D tier. D for Diva. It's pretty good. Okay, the used toxic positivity is not going on that tier. It's actually really good. Um, I saw them in concert recently with uh, Sleeping with Sirens and this uh, band called Dead American. I need to listen to Dead American stuff because it's a uh, cove from Seosin. But back to the used. This new album they got. I'm hard pressed to. Oh, I kind of want to put it on the triple S, but I'm not because I, I need to be fair. S tier. Um, all right. Okay, here's Weezer's set of VPs here. We're going to go in order of how much I like them. Spring is going on E tier. 
summer seasons is going on the A tier. Let's see if it loads real quick. It did. Okay. Um, winter is going on the B tier. And fall is going on the C tier. There you go. So uh, summer is my favorite. Um, all together, though, Seasons was great. Very appreciative of Weezer and their consistency of music put out. Um, Rad Key. This is the Rad Key album that I like more. I think it's called The Greenhouse, possibly. Um, that I like more than Delicious Rock Noise. It is going on the B tier. B tier is looking pretty thick right now. Um, hold on. Okay. So let's just soak in the tier list right now. Because I understand this is a lot to look at. Okay. S tier. Sorry, triple S tier. <laughs> um, S tier. A tier. B tier. B tier looking thick. C tier looking even more thick by one. D tier. E tier. E tier is pretty eclectic mix of music. <laughs> Um, so is F tier, <laughs> very eclectic. And then why did I download the album tier? It's all over the place in genre. So let's see. Green day. Okay. So let's go ahead and put the, both of these up here so we can rank both of these together. Trey and dose. Okay. I think I said in my previous tier list that I, th I like Uno the best. I think that's true. I'm going to put Trey on the C tier and Dose on the D tier. I stand by that. Okay, next is VA, Violent Answer, I think. This is the EP um, that I found from a guy on Instagram named Matt Bavant. He has good music recommendations. I think this is a, like a Swedish deathcore band. They're relatively new. Go check them out. I'm going to put this bad boy on the E tier. It's good, but I do need to listen to it more. Okay, Led Zeppelin. Number four. It's going on the F tier. Um, it does have rock and roll I love that song but the other songs don't keep my attention as much alright next is Drain Living Proof I saw them in concert recently that was awesome um, where are we going to put Drain Living Proof alright so we put California Curse there Living Proof is it's really good. S tier. Um, okay, David Bowie. This album's pretty cool. It's jungle, a lot of drum and bass, jungle kind of stuff. For that reason, it's going way up there because it's very pleasant to my ears for some reason. S tier. Um, Eve 6. I do like this album, and I do like this band. They're the Hard and the Blender band. But they're much more than that. They're great. S tier. For the good old Eve 6 boys. Um, yeah, we're dwindling this down fast. Okay, next is Face to Face. This is the second album I downloaded from these guys. Safe to say, ooh, that's a good album name. No one take that. Um, 
face to face is S tier because big choice is triple S tier. If I can find it, where did it go? Oh, okay. That means face to face, big choice is going on the S uh, triple S tier and face to face, self titled S tier. I feel good about that. All right. Um, let's see what else. I was just checking my vocals real quick. My vocal levels. Uh, finger eleven. Hmm. Put it on the F tier. I need to listen to it more. Good album though. Chinese Democracy. I really like the Chinese Democracy song. Um, this is the best song on there, hands down. It's going on the D tier. I think it could have been a little bit better. But it was good. Um, next is Use Your Illusion 1. I think we already ranked that. So check out my other playlist video for that. I'm um, pretty sure we already did that. Uh, Godsmack. This is a new album that I downloaded. It itself is not new, but it's new to me. So since it is really new, I'm not going to rank it as high, but it will be higher later for me because it's really good. So just to be fair, since it's really new, E tier. Um, I think we did John and Hope. Uh, John Oates and Daryl Hall, Private Eyes. Just in case we didn't, though. S tier. All right, next is Ario Speedwagon, Good Feeling. Why did I download this album tier? Uh, there's some good songs on there, but I really need to give a, another listen. Take another look. Metallica. Hardwired to self-destruct. I'm not even kidding you. Might end up being my favorite Metallica album of all time, possibly. I do like it a lot. All right, next is Green Day Saviors. I did a review on this on my YouTube channel, and um, yeah. Um. I stand by what I said on my review. A 4.5 out of 5. Almost perfection. S tier. Um, next is... I think we did these albums already. Including Metallica. Enter um, the Black Album. Excuse me. Uh, oh man, did that... Led Zeppelin album jump off this thing again? No, it didn't. Okay. Imagine Dragons. We'll go ahead and put both of these here. So this is um, Mercury Part 2 and Mercury Part 1. Okay. I think I like Mercury Part 1 more than Part 2. That's just me. Mercury Part 1... Hold on a second. Mercury Part 1 is going on the S tier. And Mercury Part 2 is going on the B tier. Um, let's see. What's next? Beware by Sim. Um, e tier. I do like it. It's an EP. <clears throat> Go check Sim out. They're the guys that did the uh, Attack on Titan uh, theme. They're good. Uh, next is Green Day, Revolution Radio. I think I already ranked this. Actually, I, I in fact, guarantee that I've already ranked this. Um, let's see. Tom Petty, Full Moon Fever. Um, F tier. Nah. E tier. It's pretty good. <clears throat> Jet. Get born, I think. 
Let's see where to go. There it is. Okay. I'm going to put Get Born on the D tier. I do like the album. I wish they did more music. So I think that's their best work, though. Okay. Jane's Addiction. Hold on a second. Okay. I think it's going to go, for me, it's going to go on the Why Did I Download This Album tier. Because I could have just downloaded a couple of the songs on here, not the entire album. That's how, how I kind of feel about it. Okay, next is Journey Freedom. Freedom. Hold on, it's got to load. It's freaking out. Okay. I can see why. Look at this tier list. This is one beefy tier list. All right. Um, Freedom is pretty good. It's with the new singer. He's not really new. He's been with them for like 10 years. Um, C tier. Very good. I think the mixing could have been done a little better on it. But, man, if the mixing was done better, it would have been higher, to be honest. Because there's some decent songs on there. Okay, Led Zeppelin 1. B tier. Led Zeppelin 2. A tier. Okay, next is... Uh, I forgot what this one's named, but this one's pretty good. It's a Led Zeppelin album. Uh, e tier. If it'll go. It went. Okay. Lil Wayne. Actually, before Lil Wayne, Less Than Jake. Silver Lining. This is their newest uh, album, I believe. It's pretty good. Dare I say it? It's pretty darn good. I'm going to put it on the B tier. I think that's pretty fair. Alright, next is... Lil Wayne. Okay, we got stretch of Lil Wayne albums here. Okay. Lil Wayne 4. I think... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Lil Wayne 4. The Carter 4. I think might be my favorite Lil Wayne album. Bangers, left and right. Um, the Carter 2. I don't have all the songs on this one, so it's going to rank a little lower. The Carter 2 is going to go on the D tier. Uh, it's just because I have some from him that I like higher. Like Lil Wayne Rebirth. It's a rock album. I know a ton of people don't like this album, but I like it. S tier. I like Lil Wayne's vocals, and I like rock, so what's not to like? He has some interesting guest features on that album, too, including an Eminem feature, which is pretty great. All right, Less Than Jake. This album is a good feel-good album, but each year. I need to listen to it more. Um, okay, Machine Gun Kelly, Mainstream Sellout. So if you guys remember, in this long tier list, epic, epically long tier list, Tickets to My Downfall, S tier, I said I like it better than Mainstream Sellout, Mainstream Sellout's going on the A tier, can't wait for his next uh, pop punk album, or project, whatever it may be, alright, Maroon 5, songs about Jane. Everybody wants Maroon 5 to go back to this style, and I can see why. It's great. They peaked with their debut album. That's kind of how it goes. B tier. Okay, next is Money Money Boss Tones. I should have just bought a couple songs on this one. I shouldn't have downloaded the whole. Uh, why did I download this album tier for that one? Motley Crue. Um, Dr. Feelgood. Uh, 
Um, really good hair metal album. A tier. All right. I think we already did Mayday Parade, but we have not done Move Along by All American Rejects. Uh, let's see if it'll load real quick. It's going to go on the triple S tier. No skips on the entire album. Uh, even that one acoustic song. Um, very good. Uh, next is My Shame is True. I don't think we've done this one. Alkaline Trio record. Uh, D tier. Feel pretty good about that. Newfound Glory. This is a newer album. I need to uh, that I've downloaded. Um, I need to give it more listens. I'm going to put it on the same tier as Godsmack because I need to listen to both of these more because they're recently new. So I need to listen to them more. Yellow card. It's going to go pretty far up there for me. I think I'm going to put it on the C tier. All right. Cramps. Why did I download this album? I don't know. I need to download just a couple songs from that, not the entire album. Uh, Imagine Dragons. Their first big time record. S tier. So good. Um, <clears throat> Panic at Disco. Viva Las Vengeance. A lot of people thought this was a return to form. It ended up not being that so. But I'm so glad I downloaded it. F tier. Um, let's see here. Papa Roach. Infest, excuse me. <laughs> Infest. <clears throat> this album has grown on me. Therefore, A tier. Alright, next is Purple Rain. Where did I put? Uh, I put 1999 in that SS S tier. So therefore, it's only fair to put Purple Rain right below it on the S tier. There we go. All right. Uh, next, we are looking at Pennywise. I almost said Journey. Um, but I was like, nope, nope, it's Pennywise. Ugh. All right. This Pennywise album is going on. See if you can move up there. The D tier. Kind of my introduction to them. Very good. Okay, Journey. This is a feel good album. B tier. Okay, Coda. Why did I download this album? I almost never listen to it. I need to listen to it more and decide if I want to keep it on my phone. Blues Travelers. Why did I download this album? <laughs> uh, the single's good. There's a couple other good songs, but why did I download the whole album? I don't know. Um, Slipknot. So this will probably change as I download more Slipknot albums, but right now, this is the only one I have. So I need to reacquaint myself with them more. Um, hold on, I lost them. There it is, okay. I'm going to put it on the A tier. It slaps your face. 
Um, next is Ramones. Their first record. And after it loads, I, <laughs> I'm going to put it on the A tier. So good. Uh, all right. Unlimited Love. All right. I think we lost a couple albums. Like, what, what happened? Hold on. No, we didn't. Okay. All right. Thought I uh, was missing Dream Canteen, but it's here on the E tier. Yeah. All right. Great new record by Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's pretty memorable. Triple S tier. All right. Real Big Fish. Um, F tier. Should have only got Sell Out. There's a couple of other good songs on there, but I mainly should have just only bought Sell Out. Uh, Rich the Kid. I love Plug Walk, but the other songs did not match Plug, Walk, Plug Walk's master class. Um, I think we already did Royal Blood, just in case we haven't. Um, F tier. Need to listen to it more. Uh, in Through the Outdoor, F tier. I think we already did Dookie. But if we were doing Dookie, I would say S tier. Um, Sleeping with Sirens, Complete Collapse. Uh, this one is also just bangers, A tier. Uh, right. Smashing Pumpkins, Siamese Dream. I think I speak for a lot of Smashing Pumpkins fans when I say, how can they ever top this album? I don't know. Um, Gish. What's going on? The C tier. C tier is looking pretty stacked right now. Uh, Pieces Iscariot is going on the F tier. It's good songs, but kind of here and there. All Time Low. Forgot the name of this album, but you guys can see it. Um, even though I forgot the name of the album, I love the songs. S tier. Lil Wayne, sorry for the wait. It's a mix album um, using remixes of uh, other songs, a mixtape kind of album. Uh, it's good. A tier. I feel good about that. Soundgarden. I do need to get more Soundgarden albums, but this is the. Uh, only one I have currently. Bad Motor Finger. Triple S tier. It, it's really just raw. Badass sounding. Um, Rolling Stones, Tattoo You. Another feel good album, D tier. Uh, Some 41, does this look infected? I th think we've done this one already. But I'll go ahead and tell you without putting it up there. Um, probably B tier, I would say. Uh, Killers, Hot Fuss. We might have already done this one too, but just in case we haven't. It. It's their best record, Triple S. Imploding the Mirage is a newer one. It is slower, but it's still very decent. Um, it's going on in the B tier. Uh, we already did Sessions. We already did Rise and Fall, Rage and Grace. Um, next is Oceania by Smashing Pumpkins. E tier. Very good. Need to listen to it more. Um, 
Machina. I think this is Machina 1. S tier. Yeah, S tier. Because we already have Siamese Dream up here. Um, yeah, S tier for Machina. All right. The Strokes, the new Abnormal. This is another kind of feel good record in a way. For me, anyway. Um, I think I'll put that in a B tier. I'm cool with that. Uh, okay, the Suicide Machines. All right, it's gonna go on the E tier. It's pretty good. Go go check it out. It's good. This this record here by the Suicide Machines. Um, the used. Okay, this is their debut album. And it's going on the S tier. Simple as that. Guns N' Roses, Spaghetti Incident. I love Guns N' Roses, but it's just a cover album. Why did I download it? I'm not sure. Okay, next is Toto. This is a compilation album. So I just got a cool looking picture of them. Uh, C tier. Compilation goes in the CTR. Okay, next is Trust Fund Babies. Um, duo album by Lil Wayne and Rich the Kid. C tier. You know what? Yeah, C tier. Feel good about that. Uh, next is The Who. Um, good sounding album. B tier. And then last is ZZ Top. I do like me some ZZ Top now. I think I've already ranked this, but I'll go ahead and rank it again. Um, I'll put it on the D tier. Okay. All right. I think that's everything. Okay. I'm going to scroll up on my Apple Music just to make sure we've covered everything. Let's see here. All the albums anyway. Uh, not just a, a couple singles I've bought. Yeah, I have a large library if you if you guys couldn't tell. Okay, almost there. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> yeah, we have completed it. And um, yeah, so this is the end of my tier list, my personal album tier list of my downloaded content. Um, yeah, uh, I think it turned out pretty well. I'll go ahead and scroll down just to show you guys. Okay, Michael Scott tier, uh, triple S tier. Um, here's the ones that made triple S, S tier with Chandler, dearly beloved albums, um, A tier with the kid that's pumped, man, A tier is stacked, so is triple S tier, triple S has <laughs> probably the most, that's hilarious, okay. A tier, pretty good. B tier, very good. C tier, C tier is stacked, but I wouldn't say it's where the action is this time. Uh, I'll tell you guys in a second which I think is where the action is. D tier, eclectic collection of stuff. E tier kind of some of my newer stuff and stuff I need to 
that I'm interested in but I haven't listened to enough. F tier, um, good albums, but I just haven't given them a chance. And then why did I download this album tier? Yeah. Oh. They snuck um, Chinese Democracy on that. Chinese Democracy is supposed to be up here. Since it's on my mind, I'm going to put it on the D tier. Okay. All right. Because I do like that album. All right. I think the action... I think the action just ended up being the triple S tier. Because I thought of the ones that I liked the most, and I just put them there. So, I think that's it, everybody. Um, thank you for checking this out. I'll upload this soon. Um, yeah, I think we're good there. So, I yeah, I think we're done. Um, I might play something later tonight, so... Check out for that. I still got to finish my uh, Spider-Man mod playthrough. But that is it for this stream. So see you guys later. Have a good one. <laughs>